Gus Dung. Call Nisi Custom, she gon' get it done. Like and subscribe, you gon' have fun. Anything custom, she gon' get it done. Oh, 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 oh. Anything custom, thing. Hi everyone, welcome back to Nisi Custom. Today we are going to be doing a all over shirt, 3D shirt, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're going to be doing today. Well, I'm going to show you the basic stuff. I'm going to show you how I do my 3D shirt because there's a lot more involved in it. And I'm going to have to do multiple videos on the beginning from the end. But right now I'm just going to show you, you know, the basic steps that I take. Um, if you're new to the channel, after this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. The reason why I say after you look at this video is because, you know, you probably, you probably was like, oh, wow, I got to hurry up and hit that subscribe button so I won't miss any of her videos. But, you know, I say go ahead and watch the video and you decide. I mean, I would love for you to stay and look at my videos, but it's you to decide. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my friends. I'm glad you came back. So today, like I say, 3D shirt. Um, did y'all check that intro out at the beginning of the video? That was my son. And uh, he has a YouTube channel where he, you know, does his little rap and stuff like that i'm gonna have that down in the description box um as well okay we're gonna go ahead and begin as you can see i already have my design that i made up and i already got that together and my son is gonna come in here and interrupt me while i'm doing my video yes son yeah i'm doing my video Okay, as you can see, I already have my design, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out on this screen. And as you can see, I already have my shirt template. Um, if anybody needs a template, I have small, medium, and large, and I think extra large, but I'm not sure. If anyone needs one, um, go ahead and send me a message and I will email it to you. Make sure you leave your email address and the size shirt that you want. Okay. We're going to take your take my image and we're going to make it bigger on the shirt like that. And here goes my computer. Y'all, I'm trying to buy me a computer. If anybody out of the kindness of your heart want to get to my computer fund, I'm going to have my cash app in the description box also. I appreciate it. You know, it's a good cause. You know, I'm trying to show y'all how to do the things that I know how to do. Okay, once I get that over the shirt like that. I'm going to go ahead and group the shirt and the image together. Okay. And the next step I'm going to put over my 13 by 19 sheet. And what you want to do, you want to write down these dimensions on your width and your height you want to write those down because you're going to need them in a little bit and you're going to make this a little smaller okay i said go up here and hit fit this window and you're going to move it up here and your next step what you're going to do you're going to go here and hit file. You're going to hit save as. Save as to hard drive. And you're going to hit. Um, you're going to name it. Let me see. J. 
one, two, and you're going to, sorry about that, and you're going to go to and make this into a ping file or PNG, and you're going to hit save. Another box is going to pop up. And you're going to check that box, transparent background. And you're going to hit save. Once you save, you can move this right here out the way. You're going to come up to file, hit merge. And you're going to go ahead and grab that image that you saved. Once you grab that image that you saved, I'm going to go ahead and change the outline to um, black. I don't know why mine turn up to white all the time. And remember those dimensions that you wrote down? You're going to go ahead and put those dimensions right here. 34.995 and 32.852. You're going to hit apply. Okay, that's what we want right there. Move this right here out the way. We're going to zoom out so we can get the full thing. Okay, that's good right there. Not too much. Let me come, come in some. Okay, that's fine right there. That's what you want right here. The next step that you're going to do, you're going to grab a rectangle you want to make a little box make sure you click your pointer because you're going to have 20,000 boxes on here after you finish and we're going to change the size to this to the size of the paper that you're going to use if you're going to use an eight and a half by 11 you're going to change the dimensions to an eight and a half by 11 now I'm going to change it to 13 by 19 because that's the size paper that I am going to use to print it out. So 13 by 19. Okay, hit apply. And the next thing you're going to do, you're going to come over here and you're going to take this box and you're going to place it right there okay once you place it there you're going to hit the control arrow key and you're going to move the box move another box over so control arrow take your finger off the control and go over go back once Okay, we're going to do it again go back once and we're going to take that same box hit control down key you're going to go up once you're going to overlap it then control arrow key left arrow key take your finger off the control you're going to go up once same thing you're going to go up once. Okay. Once you have that. Let me zoom in some. Make sure that my boxes is all right. That right there don't look. Okay, to this one. Okay, and you can zoom in, just don't touch it, but you can zoom in and make sure everything is how it's supposed to do. You don't want no box. Okay, I'll take that box right there. I'm going to go over. Mm 
remember I say you want to change it back to the original just um move that arrow key okay I'm gonna have it like that and I'm gonna zoom back out okay zoom back out and what you want to do now you want to highlight all this either you can hit your arrow key your control key and hit the um, right arrow and you are just going to make a duplicate of it so we have six panels six red boxes you need six of these images the um, duplicate you need six duplicates so there's one I'm just moving it over so it won't touch the other one that's three four Five. And that is six. Okay, once you have done all that, you're going to go and come to the first one. And you're going to click on that first box. And what you're going to do, you're going to crop it. So you're taking that first box. And see, I'm going to have to play around with this because my computer is, it has a mind of its own. Okay, about time. Oh, that's how it's supposed to be, like that. Sorry about that. Then you want to go and do the rest of them like that. Once you got everything cropped, oh, let me zoom in. Once you get everything cropped, just move your sections. Just move them up. And delete all these extra boxes. And move these down some. So I don't have to get any of them images. And just move all these extra boxes. Hit delete. And you can take all your images. Put it on your sheet. And you're going to print them. You're going to print. Go to file. Hit print. And you know you go to preference. Make sure everything what it's supposed to be. So it will be mirrored and hit print and you're going to do all of them like that then i'm going to and in my next video i'll show you how to piece them all together for now peace make sure you hit that like share and subscribe button and god loves you and i love you too look for part two and if you need some custom, call Nisi Custom, she gon' get it done. Like and subscribe, you gon' have fun. Anything custom, she gon'